Hello traders, this is Rich Terra from TradeSite. This is going to be the fourth installment of our educational series of videos on how to uh, better use and uh, optimize eSignal for yourself as a trader. What we're going to be doing in this particular video is we're going to be talking about how to use the uh, different time templates and the time template feature that's within eSignal to better uh, optimize your charts for your day-to-day -day trading and to get better information from your uh, oscillators and whatever whatever other signals you may, may be using for your technical analysis. Let's take a look at a couple of charts here and uh, take a look at the uh, where the uh, feature is for for doing the, the uh, time templates and explore how to use those to your advantage. All right, so here we have a, a, just a basic chart of the uh, ES mini features in 15-minute bars. And as you can see, the top of the uh, the window here, this is the dynamic session. This is including all of the Globex data. So this these are the cont continuous futures that are that are re receiving data for all data points throughout the evening session, the day session, and then the post session as well. So as you can see on this chart here, there's no gaps no gaps represented. You're seeing all of the overnight data, all of the uh, light traded Asian. Uh, price action, but if you want to take a look at, at just the regular session futures, there's a couple of different ways to get it done. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to right click on the chart and I'm going to go to time templates. Okay, From time templates I'm going to go to edit. Now from edit I'm going to get another window that pops up here. And what it does is it gives me bunch of uh, kind of pre pre-designed time templates that are embedded in eSignal and then it also gives you the, uh, the option to customize your own time templates. So what I want to do here is I'm going to show you how to make one yourself. I'm going to click here in the edit and you're going to see it says equity futures regular session 930 to 415. So this is just my this is one that I created myself and I named it this. You can you can make your own and put in any name you want here. You can highlight it, put in any name you choose. What you want to do after you name your time template is you want to go down here and choose custom. Then you want to choose your time frame here. So what I want to do is I want to see the regular regular session full day trading. So we're going to start at 9.30 which is the open of equity trading since we're tracking the, uh, the index equities. And then my end time is End time is going to be 16:15 on the on the uh, East Coast time, and that's going to be 4:15 uh, p.m. Now the 4:15 p.m. is key because it's also going to include the last 15 minutes of that of that runoff that a lot of the uh, time templates will miss. If you just have your time template set up for the regular 9:30 to 4 p.m. time, you're going to miss all that last. The last 15 minutes of trading, which could which could definitely affect your studies. So we're going to use 9:30 to 16:15. Okay, so we're going to use that. Okay, and we're going to set that up. It's going to move this up here. I'm going to click close. All right, now that I've got that template defined, I'm going to go to time templates. I'm going to go find it. So if you just made it new. Equity Futures Regular Session, so we're going to select that. And then what it's going to do is it's going to reload the chart for you. Now you can see up in here, here's the key thing you want to look at. Now we can see that the time from ze it has been changed from all zeros to 9.30 to 16.15. And it's dynamic, which means it's just going to keep going. But it, the, the beginning and the end of the session are going to, be, going to be capped by exactly what we defined here with our time template, so 9.30. To 1615. Now you can see the chart looks very different now. It looks very different because we've taken out all that Globex data, and you can see here that now you see the gaps here. We've got a gap down from the prior session, and being able to see the actual gaps are very important. If you look back here earlier in the week, here we've got this gap up here, and the gaps will become very important. So what I like to do on my particular setup is I'll have a dynamic, non-constrained, full session. ES futures running and I'll put my all my all my levels on there. 
I'll have you know my pivot series. I'll have my uh, proprietary trade site stuff on there. So that stuff will all be set up like that. And at the same time, I'll have another uh, small window with the with usually a five minute ES chart of just the regular session so I can make sure that I see where the gaps are. You can see how the, this gap was left open open from the previous session. We got up close to it with this little tail here, but didn't quite fit, didn't quite close it. And then for the next session I'll know exactly where that gap is and I'll be able to see it on my chart. This information becomes very, very important. And by using the time templates correctly, you can select this. Now this isn't just for the futures. You can you can have this set up any way you want. Another thing that I have here is is for the uh setup is for the equities so instead of seeing the overnight data as well I can see just the regular day session only well, let's take a look at one of the equities now now here's a 15 minute chart of Apple and again this is just a dynamic um, untimed templated un regular session so what we have here is you have all these little tiny candles that are really kind of just the global data and you can see there's really no volume there but the problem with this is when you start applying technical studies like moving averages, oscillators, whatever you want to use, these little candles will actually affect how they are. If you're using a DMI, an ADX, whatever, these little candles will affect how that reads. So you may in fact want to just limit this instead of using the globex session, just the regular session data for Apple, which would be from 9.30 to 4 p.m. Now remember, we set up the previous time template for the futures, which was from 9.30 to 4:15 or 16:15 military time. So for the for the regular equity stocks, we're going to use the regular day session that ends at 4 p.m. and it's going to really change the way the chart looks and will of course change the way your studies look as well. All right, so here's that chart again of of um, let me change this to Apple. Here's the Apple chart in 15 minutes. 15 minute bars. So you can see that we've got this all these crazy looking bars here. We, I've actually applied the uh, trade site seeker study to this as you can see trade site seeker and you can see that it does, there's not a whole lot of information here. There's this line down here that doesn't really seem to make any sense. We've got this little bit of a bar count going here and by doing this it really kind of I really kind of colored our, our technical analysis here. But if you change it to the regular session only instead of including the Globex, you can really enhance your technical analysis uh, by getting some, some better signals using just the regular session where the bulk of the volume comes. And that's, that's the important part here. So you want to make sure that you're really in tune with where the volume is, and the volume is during the regular session. So let's go over here. Let's change the time template. Okay, so I'm going to go to uh, my time templates. My time templates. And I'm going to scroll down the list. And when you scroll down the list, you're going to see one that says U.S. East Coast RTH, regular trading hours. So I'm going to select that. It was a little bit off the screen. I apologize for that, but nothing I can do about that. So now what I've done is I've changed to the regular time. This is one that's re this one's this one you don't have to make for yourself. This one's already embedded in eSignal thanks to the folks there. So you can see our time now changed from from the entire session with all the Globex data just to 930 to 1600. Now that we've done that, we lost all those little candles that seem meaningless and and unimportant because now we just have the regular session. Now the technical analysis stuff makes starts to make more sense. You can see we did uh on the seeker, we did nine bars to the downside here and then pivoted up. Everything seems to be making much, much more sense now that we've got the correct time template on here. We're using the volume from the regular session here to our advantage. Did nine bars up here. We actually got this seeker exhaustion cell signal right up here at the high water mark from uh, Thursday. We rolled down here and then we proceeded to head down on, uh, on Friday. But now all of our technical analysis stuff seems to make sense now that we're using the regular session. This is really important. So keep in mind you can use this do you can use this for Forex so you can grab the uh, five o'clock close and eliminate the uh, overnight stuff that's very lightly traded if you so choose. You can use this for your uh, crude futures if you want the if you want the pit action only you can select uh, the proper time for crude and gold has a different time. Uh, different pit session than than uh, oil does, and you can predefine those for yourself 
and have those available to you for analyzing all the different uh, securities in the exact uh, time limitations that you want to make your technical analysis work better for you. And I encourage you to explore that and do that uh, using the uh, eSignal time templates. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to uh, pop into the lab and, uh, and ask a question. I'm happy to answer uh, and work with you on that. And uh, if you have any questions, you can drop me an email. Uh, I'll put my uh, email contact up here at, at the uh, end of the video. As always, thanks for listening, and this has been Rich Derrick for TradeSite.